没人睡过。Hello, hello. So here's a quick test. Wow,、well, uh, this is nerve-wracking.、Uh, hi, thank you guys for supporting. <laughs> Can you see me now? Am I live? Can you see me? <音>好，太好了，好，欢迎大家。嗯，所以我们很快就要开始，嗯，很快就要开始我们的直播。那这是我第一次，嗯 ，first time， 第一次。做这样的这样的直播，我想啊、呃，现在我非常的紧张，因为我不知道会有什么样的结果。Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen because right now I have many devices sort of connected,、uh, feeding into this live stream. So what you should see is you should see fun with Hanzi on my left, and you have me、uh, sort of talking to my iPhone, and my iPhone is streaming to my computer, and my computer is sort of sort of merging everything together. Uh, just, just to let you know, like for example, I have、uh, an iPad playing a keynote presentation, which allows me to to sort of uh, uh, doodle on it. For example, I can do this, and you should see my doodle on my iPad in a second. Right.、Uh, so, so that's that's something new.、Uh, you know,、uh, connecting my iPad to my computer and、uh, being able to do that. But apparently, there's a delay.、Uh, there is a delay.、Uh, so, so when you when you type your messages, it might take a while for me to respond because、uh, because there's a at least a ten second delay. At least a ten second delay. Yeah. Anyhow, so I guess、uh, we are supposed to start.、Uh, wow, there are twenty one people already. So、uh, again. Hi everybody. This is John from Chinese Zero Hero coming to you live,、uh, and this is my first time trying this, so bear with me and let's see、uh, where we can go from here.、Right. So again, today we're gonna do、uh, Chinese characters. So uh, is uh, are all my devices connected? Okay, good, good, good. That's good. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all. If you haven't joined, if you haven't joined our Telegram group, it's a good time to join so that you can chat with us.、Uh, you can send us、uh, links, you can send us pictures, etc. Right? It's, so it's a little bit better than、uh, than the YouTube chat. Right? So here's the Telegram join link. If you haven't joined,、uh, uh, feel free to join. Okay. All right.、Uh, if you if you ever lose the link, you can always come to our website at、uh, chinesezerotohero.com. And it's on our homepage. If you scroll down on our homepage, there's a link where it says Telegram group. You can you can join us there. Okay. Are you going to save the video? I think、so. I I don't know how to save it actually、uh, right now because this is the first time using、uh, the YouTube web、uh, streaming service, so I don't know whether whether it's、uh, savable. Yeah, I don't know whether. It's, oh, maybe I should just、uh, hit the record button.、Um, I think there's a record button on our.、Uh, what's what's this、um, software called OBS? Yeah, that's the software. So if I click start recording, okay. So it start re、uh, it recording. Okay, thanks for reminding me.、Um, hopefully this will record and、uh, will successfully upload. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. 听得见，但是看不见。Jonathan, 你看不见吗？看不见吗？真的吗 ？Are you able to hear me and see me? Okay,、um, without problems. Okay. Anyhow, so let's get started.、Uh, that's our Telegram group, and、uh, let's get right on to characters, which is why we're here for. 好，加油！谢谢，谢谢。Okay, so you should see my computer screen, and、uh, now let's proceed to our website. So this is our website, and part of our website is this、uh, amazing dictionary which I have uh, programmed. 
uh, you can check it out. So if you go to the dictionary tab and go to radicals, and go to radicals, and uh, if you scroll down, you'll see a list, a long, long, long list of Chinese radicals, very long list of Chinese radicals, and the characters that these character uh, that these radicals uh, build, right? Um, and you can you can see, you can see for example, uh, here we have the hand radical show right here, right? Hand radical. Uh, I don't know whether you can see my mouse. Uh, my mouse is very very. Well, actually, I don't I don't think my mouse is visible to you at all, uh, but I can sort of highlight like this. So this is the uh, hand radical, the hand radical show, where you can see all the characters that are built with this radical, right? The yellow ones are HSK1, uh, the green ones are HSK2, and the, uh, the orange ones are HSK3, etc. HSK3, 4, 5, and if you go all the way to the right, you have 6, right? So all of these characters, for example, are built with a hand uh, show radical. So you can see that some radicals are very common. You can see that the co radical and the show radical, they're super common. But as you go down the list, as you go down the list, you can see that they sort of just uh, uh, peter out, right? Uh, they, they just uh, dwindle into a very short list. For example, uh, this war, right? War as a radical, war as a component is only occurring in three words in the entire HSK curriculum. The entire HSK curriculum has uh, 5,000 words, 5,000 words, and uh, and some components are just very rare, right? Like, for example, like this component right here, uh, you only have three, right? Guan, Zhui, and Qian. Uh, and then uh, words like Yu, for example, is only in these, right? But some ca some components are super common, right? You have components like, for example, Ko. Ko is in all of these words which goes on and on and on and on. But some, some character components are only uh, uh, making, up, making up maybe like three, four characters, right? So uh, there's a myth that you can learn Chinese characters simply by learning the components. So that's not true. <laughs> the sad truth is that uh, Chinese characters are very complicated. And there are uh, radicals that you can use to build a lot of characters. That's true, you know, that's, that's true. But as, as you go down the list, as you can see, right, uh, which, which side is it? This side, okay. Um, you can see that it, as you go down the list, it, uh, it sort of just uh, uh, peters, peters, out, peters out into like these very short lists, right? For example, Yo is only, a, uh, only appearing in these uh, characters. So as you can see, like if you just learn the components, you're not gonna be able to learn a lot of characters because huh? uh, there are only a few common components. Yeah. So you just have to learn them one by one, sadly. But but today I'm I'm gonna cover some of the more uh, easy components, the the more common components. So let's get started. The first one I want to cover is show. Is show. Let me keep a. Let me just uh, keep myself up to date with the chat. Uh, so James Cook, you have flashcards for radicals 1 to 40. Shun is 46. What are radicals 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45? Uh, I'm not sure what numbering system that is. So uh, on, my, on my website, I don't have numbers. Um, so I can't really, um, I mean, if I look for Shun and Hmm, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, maybe you can clarify what flashcard decks uh, you have. All right, so let's uh, keep going. Uh, let's start with show. So let me switch to my keynote. And um, here's my iPad. Uh, hopefully, when I write on it, you'll be able to see it. So the first component is show. Right. Let me see. Okay, so show means hand. It means hand, and the pinion is like this. Okay, show. Are you able to see my doodling? Can you see my my green lines on on the screen? 
Talk to me, IPF with all that. Uh, can you, are you able to see the the green line on the on the screen? Okay. Uh, well, I I assume that you I assume you can. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's good. So show means hand, and it's written like this. I'm gonna pick the cheesiest colors. So show is written like this. You want me to write that again? Okay, let me try that again. Show, show, right? Show means hand. This is my show. Easy enough. Now let's uh, let's see the reduced version of show. So show is written like this, but when it's uh, in a component, it is reduced to this. Let's try that again. And again. Right, show. It's written like this. Now there are a lot of characters that are built with show. Anything that you do with your hand, any anything that you act on, and any sort of action you take, uh, oftentimes have this show radical. Okay, so let me give you some examples. It's sad that iPad doesn't have an eraser. I can only write. I cannot erase. So all I can, do, I have to, uh, I have to do undo uh, in order to to go back a, a step. Okay, so. So the first one I want to mention is da. Da. Does anybody know what da means? Da. Right. Da. It's written like this. Okay. Try again. First, we write a show character, and then we sort of write a T, horizontal, and then the vertical with a hook. Da. Da dian hua. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Da. This is a very common character. Da dian hua. This is in HSK one, right? Perfect. Yeah, it means to hit, means to strike. Uh, so for some reason, I think da dian hua. When in the early days, I think te telephones are like what you have to, you have to roll it, or you have to like some somehow somehow the, we just we, we call dialing a dialing a phone or da dian hua, right? Um, yeah, uh, I guess you have to press the buttons these days, right? So so that's da. It, you hit the buttons, da again. That's how you write it. Uh, if only I could, if I, if only I could erase this. I could. Hmm. I have a. I can draw black lines. I can draw white lines, but I can't really erase. Okay, so let me just uh, undo all of that. Okay. All right. Pick another cheesy color. And the next one I want to cover is Zhao. Does anybody know how to write Zhao? Zhao means to look up. Right. <laughs> Zhao means to look up something. Uh, Zhao means to look for something or to search for something. Does anybody know how to write Zhao? Okay, here it is. First, again, this, it's the show character, the show radical. Okay, again, it's Heng Shu Ti. So it's horizontal and the vertical with a hook. And then you do a horizontal again. But slightly going upward. Okay, again, horizontal, vertical with a hook, and then uh, horizontal, slightly going upward. So that is show, right? So that's the show part. Show, Zhao. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Ming Huang and uh, Betty Tasso. Yeah, and Jonathan Gatson. Perfect, excellent. So you all know this character, right? I'm just covering the basics for now. Do you want me to do some hard ones? Maybe I should do some super obscure ones that you that you have never heard of. <laughs> okay. So so that is Zhao. Zhao. If you're curious, uh, the part on the right is a gu. Gu, uh, literally means uh, a kind of weapon that people use in the in the old days. It's like a. I think it, it's sort of shaped like this, right? You have a stick, and people hold the stick, and and hit and 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 hit people, right? It's it's a weapon. It's a weapon. So, yeah, I don't know what uh, why the word for to look for something has uh, like a weapon part. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, interesting interesting topic for research. So uh, that is Zhao. <laughs> 谢谢谢谢班主。
an axe. Uh, it's not an axe. It's 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 got sort of a very very long, uh, very very long stick. The 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 top the, the part with the blade is actually o over the top of my head. So if I'm very far from you, I can still like hit you with it, right? So it's a, uh, yeah, it's a very crude weapon. Uh, if you see Chinese dramas, Chinese uh, uh, ancient war dramas, and you see that a lot. Uh, soldiers carry it and sort of hack each other. Yeah. All right, so that's Zhao. And the next one is Bao. It, the next one is Bao. Bao, as in Bao Zhi. Okay, I guess I have to erase all of this. So Bao, as in Bao Zhi, is written like this. Bao, yeah, Bao, Bao Zhi. 你每天看报纸吗? 你每天看报纸吗? 啊, 我, 我从来不看报纸, <笑> 报纸, 2020年的时候经常看报纸, 啊, 现在不太看报纸, 啊, 报纸没什么意思, 啊, 好, 所以这是报纸, 嗯, 报纸, 报纸, 报 also means to report, right? also means to report, because uh, newspaper, are uh, papers with reports, right? So that's why they're called baozhi, baozhi. Right, so that's bao. Do you want me to write bao again? Yeah. It's uh, it's written like this. Bao, 对, 报纸的报, 对, 繁体字, 繁, uh, I don't know how to write traditional characters, uh, but, uh, but I guess you typed it. So as long as you don't delete it, I can just copy it. Right, so bao is is written like this in traditional characters right so on the on the left it's instead of having a hand you have a xin right? you have a xin so let's get rid of that so that's ba. the third one uh, i oh that's it that's the three i want to cover with shou the next radical i want to cover is shui shui does anybody know how to write the character for water shui Does anybody how uh, does anybody know how to write it? Oh, bon, uh, Bonnie Salem. Uh, it's not a scythe. Uh, I think a scythe is more like a uh, like a long sword, right? That should, oh, perfect. Yeah, Kenneth Kenneth Tan. Yeah, Bonnie Salem. Right, perfect. So that's how you write it. First, you write a little hook, and then you write a horizontal and a diagonal to the left, like that. And then you uh, write on the right, a diagonal to the left, and then a diagonal to the right. Shui. Shui. But in the reduced form, it becomes just three dots like this. So you have two dots on the top, and then you have one dot at the bottom going upward. Uh, Scythe is Reaper weapon. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I can look it up. It doesn't hurt, right? Let me look up Ge. What is Ge? Ge. It's a good distraction. Ge. Uh, right, it's Ge. Ge in English is. Uh, it says dagger axe. Dagger axe. It's, it's got a very long handle. It's a stick. It's got a very long stick. And then at the, at the very top, you have a implement that looks like a dagger on one one hand and then you have an axe on the other hand so so you have so you have a very long stick where you can uh, hack people it's kind of like a big golf club uh, but 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 much more dangerous yeah uh, anyhow yeah so so shui reduced it becomes three dots let me do that again so shui like that again dot dot and a reverse dot one of your lives but thanks for doing this it really helps glad that you like it um it took me uh, uh, the whole morning to figure out how to do this uh and designing the slides and make, make sure that everything's pretty with the flowers and everything it's spring right spring in the north hemisphere uh we're that we were having a spring sale so i want to make everything like a spring themed so uh, i hope you like it let's do this again so shui is uh, three dots like this Okay, enough of that. Now let's do some words with shui. 
the first one I want to do is is the word that's appearing in the cover image of this live live session, which is can anyone guess? It's in our cover image. Can anyone guess what it is? <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> can anyone guess what this is? What this character is? It's in the cover image of our of our uh, uh, live session. Right, Hanzi. <laughs> right, Bonnie Salem. Hanzi. So Hanzi. Hanzi the Han is written like this. Okay. So you got Shui on the left, and you have, and you have Yo on the right. Right, Yo on the right. This is a simplified character. Uh, in the traditional character, uh, I'm not too sure. I think it's like written like this. I think uh, in in the traditional, right? But in uh, simplified, uh, thankfully, <laughs> it's uh, it's written. Uh, it's much easier to write, uh, at least for me. So Han is is written like that. The reason why Han has uh, three dots on the left is because it used to be the name of a river, uh, Han River. That's why there's the Han people because they resided uh, by the river, by the Han River, uh, and the area, the general area, geographical area, was called Han. And eventually, the 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 ruler of that area took over the entire China, and then it was called the Han Dynasty. And hence the Han people, the Han ethnicity and Han language, uh, so it all sort of stemmed from there. Right? But but the Chinese language is much older than Han, uh, the the Han uh, dynasty or Han uh, Han River. But but it was um, but it was just called Han Yu, uh, China, the Han language, just because the the dynasty was so prominent. Uh, but don't test me on Chinese history. Uh, you know I'm not an expert. <laughs> so so that's why the Han character has three dots. Uh, which which means water because it was the Han River, uh, Han River. So Han, uh, sorry, Han River, Han River. And again, Hanzi is written like this, Hanzi, Hanzi. All right, 一点历史，讲中文吧。好啊，多讲中文，对，多讲中文。Mila Bitsa Bitsayeva, Mila Bitsayeva, da. Kitaisky Gavarim. Okay, so uh, if you write Hanzi, be very careful、uh, when you're typing on the computer because sometimes your computer will prompt this instead. Does anybody know what this means? Right. If you add this, it's Hanzi, but if you take it out, what is it? But if you take this out, what this? What is this? Okay, so Hanzi, Hanzi as a neutral tone. This is neutral. Neutral, neutral. That means、uh, a, a man, a dude. This means a dude. Okay, a dude. Hanzi means a dude. Okay, so sometimes I, I hear like girls will say, "I like Hanzi." It's like they will type, "I like Hanzi," but they they type they they type it wrong, but、uh, they just they just type "I like Hanzi," which is kind of funny, you know. Uh, yeah, because because we use pinyin to type, right? We when we type pinyin, we never type tones, so the computer will always pick the the wrong one.、Um, they always assume it's one、uh, versus the other. Okay, so that is Hanzi. <laughs> that means dude. Yeah, exactly. So so make sure you have you have the little hat on top on top. Make sure you have that. If you don't have that, it becomes Hanzi. Okay. 你会打汉子吗 ？Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you're、uh, if you're manly enough, you can you can beat them up. 汉子，打汉子 ，Yeah， 打汉子。But 打汉字 is typing, right? 打汉字 is typing Chinese characters. 打汉字 is beating up dudes. So yeah. Anyways, so that's the first character with Shui. Do you find this interesting? <laughs> Um, I haven't.、Uh, I haven't really prepared much. You know,、um, it's it's kind of a, a rush thing. I I just want to try this out and and figure figure out things as I go. The next one that I want to write is Mei. You all know, right? 没关系，对不起，没关系 Right. This is Mei. Mei means not having anything.、Um, it's also pronounced more, more, 
more means to submerge. Uh, oops. Let's do this again. Oops. Haha. It's gone. Sorry, guys. Computer bug. Okay. Play, play. Okay. All right, we're back on track. So another pronunciation of, uh, let me, okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, this is pronounced Mei, as in Mei Guanxi. 我家乡在哪里? 我家乡在陕西, 在, 在西安, 啊, 西安. That's my 家乡. Okay, so Mei is also pronounced more. More means to submerge. Submerge in water, right? Uh, and that's why you have the three dots on the left. Right? So that's, you know, that, that's where it came from. Because so at, at the very beginning, more simply meant to submerge. Yeah. So that's why we, we have this uh, three dots radical uh, retained. At least I th that, that, that's what I think it is. <laughs> okay, so let's continue with the water radical. Let me write a prettier version of it. So, shui. The third one I want to write is piao. Piao as in piao liang. Does anybody know how to write piao liang? Ni hen piao liang. Does anybody know how to write piao liang? Uh,您可以说俄语啊，我可以说一点儿，可以说一点儿，您能够搞不了，啊，对，您能够搞不了，真漂亮，呀，漂亮， yeah, perfect， excellent， so 漂亮， so that's how you write it， so first you write a C on top， like C as in 东西， and then you write 是 at the bottom， 是 as in 示范，示范，啊，示示，呃，表示。it's funny, sometimes uh, the simpler characters are actually more advanced because the simpler characters are used less frequently. Uh, the more complicated characters are used all the time, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is kind of interesting. So piao is pretty, piao liang, piao liang. Okay, so, so that's another character with shui, piao liang. Uh, but why, uh, why is piao a water character why does it have a water radical well the reason is because it also has another pronunciation and that is piao piao uh, piao piao means to float you have river and you have whoops why does it keep doing that that's weird okay so piao for example you have a bottle that's a bottle that's like a water bottle, although it doesn't really float like that. Um, physics doesn't allow this kind of flotation, I guess. But piao, it means to float. It means to float. With the first tone piao, it means to float. With the fourth tone piao, it means to, uh, it, it, it simply means uh, piao as in piao liang. Piao liang. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, piao liang. But piao as the first tone, it means to float. For example, 我在水上漂着。我在水上漂着. That means I'm floating on the top of uh, water, on top of a body of water. Okay, so that's why it's a three car th um, three dot shui. Uh, it doesn't allow me to. Okay. The fourth one I want to do is xi. Xi means to wash. For example, 洗脸, 洗脸. 在做直播前, before I come live, I wash my face, so I will look okay. So, I 洗脸, right, 洗脸. 洗脸 means to wash my face. 洗 means to wash. Okay, 洗脸. Right, 洗脸, 洗澡, 对, 洗澡. 洗澡, 洗澡 means to take a bath. 洗脸. 洗澡. 洗脸, 洗澡. Right. Oh, my is my video frozen? Oh, it's not. Okay. 洗澡. 
、呃，你在哪里学过俄语呢？你的翻译里呢？我就自己在网上，自己在网上学的。以前我在学校学过啊、呃，在学校学过。对，系列我看。呃 ，tickets 票。Hey Bantu, Bantu voice muchai k dot k dot. Uh, piao is uh is written like this. That's a good question. Yeah, you probably know, but uh, but let me just cover that. So we were writing piao piao as in 漂亮 right? This is piao as in 漂亮漂亮 pretty, pretty. The right hand side of this, this part. This part, this part is also pronounced piao, and it means a、uh, ticket. For example, 电影票电影票一张电影票多少钱？电影票 Oops. 电影票 ，Yeah， 啊、uh, ，电影票 ，So that means 呃、uh, ，movie ticket，movie ticket， 电影票。Okay. But if you add、uh, three dots on the left, and that's 漂 as in 漂亮。Right? That's why we do this、uh, radical thing because sometimes when you see that、uh, oh yeah all these char all these、uh, characters have the same radicals,、uh, that That prevents you from writing the wrong one. If if you're aware that the the pretty character has the three、uh, water three dot water radical, then you wouldn't、uh, make a mistake of confusing 漂 as in 漂亮 and 漂 as in ticket. Okay, 机票 right? 机票啊，雪花飘飘 That's right. Ah, 北风萧萧 Uh, okay. So let me. Let me get that. So, 北风飘飘飘 with the wind on the on the right. This is 飘 It's very similar to 飘 with the water. Because 飘 with the wind on the right.、Uh, this one, oops. 飘 with the wind. This 飘 means to float in air, float with the wind. Right, because it's got a wind radical on the right, so so piao is、uh, is floating with wind. But if you want to say that it's floating on top of water, then you use this、uh, water radical, right? But they sound exactly the same. They're both piao. It's just always clearing my my canvas. Why piao? Right. So it's a way of using writing to distinguish your meaning. Uh, so if if you just say it, if you just say piao,、uh, we don't know whether it's piaoing、uh, on the water or piaoing in the air. But 如果你是写下来，如果你写下来，你写一个风啊，你在这边写一个风，这这边是一个风，对吧？风 wind. Then you know that it's floating in air, right?、Uh, anyways, 啊，雪花飘飘，啊，雪花飘飘，北风萧萧。北风萧萧，费玉清的，费玉清的叶子飘可以啊啊，叶子飘，你也可以说花瓣飘，花瓣飘，叶子飘，还有什么飘？啊，花粉啊，现在现在春天、啊，大家都在过敏，嗯 ，we all have allergies， so 花花粉 pollen， is it pollen or pollen？ I think it's pollen， pollen， it also floats in the air。so， so yeah， that's that。And the next one I want to talk about is 游泳 So 游泳 It's written like this. 游泳 It means to swim. 游泳 Yoyong. Yoyong. Huafen, right? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, in the context of health, if a bird is floating in water, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that the the a bird floating in、uh, on water that's usually a a duck or something like that. Let's see, I'm just looking at your ch your chat. Love is in the air. 最难的汉字啊，有用。好
。好，游游泳啊，不是游泳，是游泳啊，游泳，游泳 means to swim. Perfect. Perfect. 游泳。Okay, let me write that again. Going back. Okay, so yo is written like this. First, you write a feng, feng as in 地方 okay, and then you write this thingy, and then you write zi. Okay, again. That's yo. And yong is written like this. Again, it looks kind of like shui. First, you have a dot, and then you have a horizontal going into a vertical, and then you have a hook like that, and then you have a horizontal and a diagonal to the left, and a diagonal to the left, and a diagonal to the right like that. Yo yong. So that's yong. Okay. Moving on, so the next radical, the、uh, the final radical I want to cover is the one for wood, one for wood, and that's it. It's very simple. First, you make a cross, and then you write a diagonal to the left and a diagonal to the right. So that is mu. It's pronounced mu. 游泳很有用，对，游泳很有用，游泳很有用。Water times two. Uh, yeah. So that's mu. Mu means wood. It means、uh, wood or tree. Wood. The first character I want to mention is ji. Ji. Ji as in 机会，他说机会。机会 means、uh, is opportunity. And remember the word 手。手 is hand, right? 手。手 plus 机 becomes 手机。手机，手机 is a a mobile phone。你是什么手机啊？我是 iPhone 啊，我用 Android 啊，我用那个什么小米啊？很多人用小米，手机，手机。对，飞机，对，飞机我忘了，飞机，飞啊，飞飞机，飞机，因为它能飞嘛，对吧？在天上飞。在天上飞啊，这是飞机。呃，既然飞机是 airplane， 那走机应该什么？走机是车吗？<笑>不知道，反正飞机是 airplanes 啊。但是，但是，但是车是还是车啊？不是走机，<笑>不是跑机啊，是飞机。对，积极，积极的积不是这个积，嗯，积极的积是另外一个积，嗯，但是吉是是木字旁的，对，吉是木字旁的。Man, I have to. Oh, there's a clear all button. Okay, I found it. Okay, I see it. Wow, that's a、uh, revolutionary. So the next character I want to cover is Xiao. Xiao is in 学校，学校。呃、uh, ，right here, right. That's what it is. So it's written like this: Mu. First, you write Mu, and then. You write six on top, Liu, like that. See that? Why so many surnames use the character Mu? Like Li, what Li? What 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 are the surnames? What are the surnames? Sun, 有人姓孙哈，我不知道谁姓孙。哦，还有林，对，有人姓林。对，有人姓林，姓林啊，姓林。嗯、呃，别的吗？我不知道。嗯，李我就知道李和林，李和林。啊，好，反正校，校名 school， 校名 school。It also, if you pronounce it as 呃、uh, 教 ，Oh, I haven't finished writing it. Look at look at that. Then you write a cross like that, a crisscross. So that is xiao. Another pronunciation of this is jiao. Wait a second. Am I getting? I think I'm getting confused. Xiao, xiao dui. Ah, the, yeah, that's right. Yeah, xiao. Another pronunciation of this is jiao. Jiao dui means to check. 
check if it's correct. Like you, you, for example, you're comparing uh, two documents. One is correct, the other is wrong. You know, you, you, you check whether they're consistent. That's 校对, 校对. Uh, but that's, uh, but, but you learn that later, right? Uh, in HSK1, you just learn 校, 校 as in 学校, 学校. That's school, 学校. Okay, let me clear that, just so that it's clear. 校, it's got a wood character, and then you write 6, and you say 一个六, and then you write a little crisscross like that. That is 校, 校 means school, as in 学校, 学, <laughs> missing a stroke. Okay, so that's 校. And the final, final, final character I want to cover is yi, yi, yi as in chair. Does anybody know how to write uh, yi? Yi as in chair. Does anyone know how to write chair? Yi. So first, because yi is made of wood, typically, uh, then we have a wood character on the left, right? Yi. But on the right, right, exactly, right. Uh, this is uh, Yeah, perfect. Uh, all of you know that. So yi is written with a wood on the left and a qi as in qi guai on the right, like this. And qi is further broken down to a da, right? So that's da on top. Da on top, and then you have ke at the bottom, right? And ke is further broken down to, uh, broken down into a, a t, like a ding, and a ko, right? Wow, it's, it's kind of colorful. It's almost like a Google log, a Google logo. Maybe I can do like a Google, Google. Maybe the colors are wrong. Anyhow, anyhow. Okay, so that is yi, yi as in yi zi. Yi zi means chair. That means chair. <laughs> chair. Then yi zi ren is chairman, right? No, not really. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. All right, so um, by the way, <laughs> by the way, um, if you haven't checked out our Instagram, here's our Instagram. Let me show you uh, our wonderful Instagram that Ken has put together. So this is our Instagram account. Guess what? Uh, we just we just learned wood, right? We just learned wood, and there's a Instagram post right here, right here. It looks like a tree. If you click on that, mu. Do you see that? Mu. Day. Low. Yeah, this is on our Instagram. Chiao. Complete with upbeat Mu. music. <laughs> Mu. So let me see if I can uh Bei. maybe I can make this bigger. Yi. Uh, well, I can't. <laughs> it's about shit sign. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so our Instagram mm. has a lot of these little videos. Uh, some of them are Low. covering classical Chinese. Some are teaching you Cheng Yu. Some are just teaching you plain Xiao. words. And speaking of words, you know, we have a lot of these word cards. You see that? We have a lot of word cards. Uh, they all label whether it's HSK 4 or 5. Uh, yeah, we have Cheng Yu. And yeah, a lot of uh, word cards like this. Sometimes we cross post uh, some of our YouTube videos here on Instagram as well. We have a lot of uh, word cards. Yeah, see that? A lot of word cards. And uh, speaking of word cards, you know that over the entire course of HSK, you're going to learn a lot of characters. Let me show you how many characters you have to learn. Okay, so here, this is an overview of the entire entire HSK curriculum. It's actually so big that I can't fit on the screen. So each square is a word that you have to learn. 
Okay, so the yellow ones are HSK1 and the teal ones are HSK2 and the orange ones are HSK3 and the red ones are HSK4 and the, the blue ones, which is like the ocean of words, uh, is HSK5 and you have this big chunk of words that's HSK6. So, so you know that as you go go up the level, you're gonna learn a lot of words. You're gonna be just swamped with words. <laughs> For example, uh, over at HSK2, what's everybody's HSK level, by the way? Uh, or does anybody not know what HSK is? HSK is uh, a Chinese, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, HSK is this curriculum uh, which gauges your Chinese proficiency. Uh, it, HSK stands for Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi, or Chinese Proficiency Test. HSK 1 is the most uh, beginners, and HSK 6 is the most advanced. All right, so HSK 1 is the easiest, and HSK 6 is the hardest. So, hence the, the words. So, so, hence the which side? Oh, not this side, this side. So, hence the HSK words. Right. So you have all these words uh, by, the, by the levels. So that's a lot of words. And to help you out, we have built uh, Chinese courses to help you learn all these words, plus grammar points, plus pronunciation tips, plus, uh, plus everything you need to know to, to get your Chinese uh, up and running. So over here, for example, level two is colored in teal, and we have yoyo. Remember yoyo. We looked at yoyong. Yoyong is right here. It's an HSK2 word. Do you see that? It's flashing right here. Yoyong. Yeah, so a lot of you know about HSK. Perfect. Uh, many of you pr are probably at the higher levels, right? Uh, I know a lot of you are at HSK5. Uh, some, are, some are studying for six, which is really good. So here is yoyong. Yoyong is an HSK2 word. Uh, so you have to learn all of these words with HSK2. All of these from Liang, Ye, Cong, Jian, Zai, Liang, Chu, right? All these words. So how are you going to learn that? Well, um, for example, here's the here's our dictionary word. Uh, here's our dictionary entry for Yu Yong, right? Yu Yong. It says that learn how to use Yu Yong in Unit Six, Text Three of our HSK2 video course. Right? So in our HSK2 video course. In lesson six, we cover that. So let's go there and check. So here's our HSK2 course. In lesson six, let me just expand that. Lesson six, vocabulary. You see how many, <laughs> you see how many videos we have? We, we cover everything, literally everything. Uh, from from one to six, all these words, right? You, you you saw that big chart. All these words, we cover all of them. So here's a video. Here, okay, that that's what it is. Yo yo, right? What you yo yo la? What you yo yo la? Right here, you can actually hear it. Yo yo, yo yo. What you yo yo la? Can you hear it? What you yo yo? Can you hear the audio? 经常，经常。你经常去游泳吗？嗯，我吗？嗯，我很少去游泳。我不经。<laughs> right. So, so I just talked about the words a little bit to get you familiar with the words. And then uh, below that, uh, we have discussions, and and then after the video, you get a little vocabulary quiz. Right. For example, test you what what's mian tiao, <laughs> and then you have a character worksheet to help you learn the words. Right. Uh, for example, yo yong. Here, here are some worksheets to help you learn the characters like that. Uh, and then, uh, and then at the end, which is uh, which is really cool, at the end we actually give you. Let's see, hmm, where's where's our flashcards? I remember we had flashcards. Weird. Two. I think. Yeah, the flashcard links, uh, I think, are at the very beginning. Beginning, getting started, getting answer keys, vocabulary. Oh, yeah, okay. So the flashcard sets are right here. If you click on Quizlet sets, it will actually take you to Quizlet. 
and they'll give you a, a large flash flashcard deck uh, which you can uh, use to learn the words for example lesson six is right here and uh, here is where's Yo Yong? Yo Yong's right here. Ah, you have to sign up and log in. Yeah, that's right. So Yo Yong is right here, as you can see. Yeah. So our courses cover from HSK one all the way to HSK six. If you get to HSK six, you're gonna see a lot of videos with a lot of words, a lot of text, a lot of grammar points. Um, do you guys have grammar problems? Uh, do you do you guys ever have issues? Uh, with grammar. If you have issues with grammar, make sure to go to our website and go to the grammar tab. Here's a grammar tab. Here's a grammar tab. And you can search for any grammar point that you that you can think of. For example, adverbs. Adverbs. So here is how you use adverbs in Chinese, right? V O V the A. 姐姐唱歌唱得很好. A lot of people get this wrong, right? but here we have that covered in our courses. For example, it says Grammar Lesson 2.12.1. So that's in our HSK2 course in Lesson 12, Grammar Point 1. So if you click on that, it takes you straight to HSK2 where you can view the grammar video. Uh, so all of these courses now only cost 153 if you buy the whole thing from HSK 1 to HSK 6 and you own them forever, right? You own them forever. So that is our ultimate bundle. If I could go take you to the pricing page. So we have a sale right now, as you can see from the banner on the uh, banner below me. Uh, actually, it's uh, here, right here. So if you go to pricing right here, See here, it says no subscriptions, pay once, enjoy forever, right? So it's not a subscription thing. It's it, you just pay it once and you just have them all. You can download them. You can you can put them on your phone. You can do whatever you want. And right now we have a 30% off thing. So for example, if you want everything from HSK one to six, uh, all you need to pay right now is $153. Uh, so you save $67. That's everything we have. How many videos do we have? I think we have over a thousand videos. Yeah, so HSK1, we have 74 videos. HSK, HSK2, we have 75, etc., etc. At the end, we have 1,058 videos. Yeah, so a lot of videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Yon Jaravin. Uh, thank you. Let me just have some water very quickly. Okay. Perfect. So that's... Uh, that's everything I want to cover. Again, uh, fun with characters. Go to our website. Uh, go to. Let me show you. Let me show you how you can get to our dictionary. So go to zero to hero .ca or chinese zero to hero .com. They they're the same. They're equivalent. Chinese zero to hero .com or zero to hero .ca. They they take you straight to the same place. And then you go to the dictionary tab right here. Oh yeah. By the way, when you when you land on the website. It will say this. It will say zero to hero education, and then you just click on Chinese zero to hero right here, uh, because our website allows you to study um, any language you want and not just Chinese. Right? We have courses with uh, we have courses in Chinese and English, but uh, but there are resources for learning any language. Right? But but that's all in the footer uh, in the footer below. Here's uh, uh, Chinese zero to hero. If you go to dictionary, and then if you go to radicals, here's a list of uh, uh, of Chinese radicals more that you can look up. Uh, may I ask your email? I'll send you a letter. Sorry for yeah. Uh, email is this John, John at Chinese zero to hero dot uh, com. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Are oh, you welcome? Uh, daily Chinese. Oh uh, no, not for free. But we do have some free courses. Uh, we have some free courses for people to try out. Oh, by the way. Uh, the first unit of all the courses are free. Uh, so unit one of HSK six is free. Unit one of HSK five is free. Uh, unit one of HSK four is free. Uh, all the unit ones are free because we want you to try it, try try our stuff and see how amazing it is. <laughs> uh, our pronunciation course is free. Our Chinese poetry course is free. Uh, what else is free? Um, 
yeah, I think that those are the free courses. So you can you can go to our website and check the check the list. Yeah, online courses. Let's see. You go to courses. Here are our courses, and some of them are free. Oh yeah, learn Chinese with songs. That's free too. Yeah. So you have a lot of PDFs uh, with song lyrics. So these are free, uh, but the rest are paid. Uh, the rest are paid courses. Uh, how many Chengyu does the average native speaker know? Average native speaker. Uh, what's an average native speaker? Huh. Yeah, I would. I, I don't have an accurate number, but I, I would think a lot. I would think a lot, depending on the person's age and education, I guess, and background, uh, depending on the person whether the person is a Chinese major, <laughs> you know, uh, whether he's a writer. Uh, that it, it all depends. But uh, but. But I think uh, daily Chinese, uh, two thousand to three thousand. Oh, per perhaps, yeah, yeah, perhaps. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of Chengyu. Uh, you know, Chengyu. Uh, sometimes the same Chengyu, if you just change it a little bit, it becomes another one, and then it becomes another one, right? Uh, Chengyu is it's not it's not set in stone. Some of them are are, are kind of variable. Uh, for HSK six, I think you have to know like two hundred. Something like that for HSK six. Uh, up to HSK five, you do not know. You do not need to know any Chengyu, right? So, if, if, so if, if you just want to pass HSK five, no Chengyu needed. But if you want to pass HSK six, then you have to have two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. Just looking at the chat and make sure I covered uh, everything. Online translation with explanation of fashion or of special themes like selling or else, please. Hmm. Good question. Um, we try and cover as many subjects as possible in our expansion courses. Let me show you. If you go to our course website, uh, and if you scroll all the way down, and here you see uh, HSK5 expansion. See that HSK5 expansion? So in these expansion courses, we try and cover a wide range of subjects. For example, art and culture. If you click on art and culture, you see that we have uh, we have uh, shows on on food, on cooking, right? On gardening, uh, Yuanlin. That's Chinese gardens. These are all documentaries from CCTV. We provide you with a PDF, as you can see, right here. So this is a PDF where you have the translation on the on the left. You have the you have the Chinese words in the middle. And you have a glossary on the right to help you understand the line, uh, and then you can click on the green button here to watch the the show. Right, it it takes you straight to um, straight to YouTube, where you can uh, you can watch. So yeah, so that's that. Uh, that's a a PDF to help you learn the subtitles of of a show. And we we try to cover as many subjects as, as as possible. Like for example, this show is just about cooking crabs. Uh, how 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 people cook crabs? Uh, that's a that's like a cooking show. And then 我是艺考生. This is the story about the art students in China, uh, which is also interesting. 中国手作, that's uh, that's about Chinese handcrafts. Uh, you know, we, we try and cover a lot of subjects. Uh, we, we, we try to uh, make sure that you learn a wide range of vocabulary so that you can, you can pass the HSK-5. Yeah. So this is just for HSK-5. This is just one little, little course for HSK-5. And we have, uh, we have like seven courses for HSK-6. Uh, let me just uh, go back. Right here. So we have TV news, we have film and drama, Chinese history, science and technology, song lyrics, we have uh, history and civilization, there's business, right? You, you, you mentioned the selling. And here is uh, business and commerce, here's geography, right? Uh, here's literary works, there's art and culture, drama, news, uh, science and technology, right? So if you click on that, you see a lot of like, uh, everything to do with science and technology. Right? Super Lab, Super Lab, uh, the the first underground uh, 
the first uh, super underground laboratory in China. <laughs> so you have shows like that. Uh, let me just catch up with the chat. Make sure I covered everything. What's a realistic time frame? Uh, th that's also available on our website. Time frame, good question. If you go to our website and uh, go to resources, go to resources. So, so that's a answer to C to ocean. If you go to resources and go to learning path, learning path. So here is a Chinese learning path. Uh, for example, it says that uh, HSK4 takes about 550 hours. 550 hours medical language mm, yeah you can find a, like a medical drama or something uh, that that allows you to get more medical vocabulary yeah uh, but we don't have much uh, medical uh, I don't remember I don't recall putting medical stuff in our courses yeah but uh, but you can probably look for some Chinese drama with with a medical um, medical theme yeah uh, let's see, fun, very useful. Suggest, I'm just looking over the chat. Um, also, don't call to revolution. Um, like, so you're interested in history. Okay, you don't need to learn all these characters. Just learn keys and major majority. Uh, uh, 80,000 characters are based on these 214 keys. Really? Um, so daily Chinese, you, you, you think you, you think that's the, that's the case? You just learn 214 keys and, and then you, you'll be able to learn a lot of those characters. I think that's a bit of an oversimplification, don't you think? Yeah, remember the chart? Uh, remember this, uh, where is it? Remember this radicals chart? It's gonna take a minute to load, but but as you go down the list, you see that uh, you don't have a lot of uh, common radicals anymore, right? So if you so if you're way down uh, way down the list, you can learn a radical, and that will only help you learn another four characters, right? So I mean, yeah, uh, I think just just learning the radicals will get you all the characters you need. I think that's oversimplification. Yeah, that's not really realistic. <laughs> Um, I, I think in the end, you still have to just learn characters one by one. All right. Okay, cool. I guess uh, that covers everything I, that, that I plan to talk about today. And uh, I'm very happy that this worked out. And thanks so much, guys, for joining me. And I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can upload this. All right. So have a great day, guys. And uh, see you next time. Bye now.